Hi, Mr. Corsi here. In this question, we're given a triangle, X, Y, Z, a couple of lengths given, and we're told that the cosine of this angle is 1 8 We're asked to calculate X, Y. Now, in the face of it, it looks fairly right-angled. You'd think maybe this is Pythagoras, but you'd be wrong, because you cannot assume in a question like this unless you're told that the triangle is right-angled. So... You should realise that if you are dealing with a non-right-angled triangle, then two rules you could use, sine rule or the cosine rule. Now, this is a paper with no calculator. It's unusual to have sine rule questions and cosine rule questions without calculator. However, the clue here is that we're given that the cosine of Z is 1 8. So it would imply that the cosine rule is what is used. Now on the formula sheet that you're given, this is the cosine rule, and it's made up for a triangle ABC. Remember, the convention is that if you have a triangle ABC, then the side opposite angle A is little a, side opposite angle B is called little b, and the side opposite angle C is called little c. So in this case, um, where we've got x, y, z, the side opposite angle y would be called little y. The side opposite angle x would be called little x. And the side opposite angle z would be called little z. And The cosine rule, instead of being an A, B and C, would have to be in terms of X, Y and Z. Now, we'll look at the pattern of this. We're trying to find X, Y, so this will be Z squared. Notice A squared equals B squared plus C squared. That's the square of the other two sides, so it'll be Y squared plus X squared, or X squared plus Y squared. And then the pattern in this is take away twice b times c, take away twice x times y in this case, and then multiply by the cosine of angle a, that's opposite little a, multiply by the cosine of z, that's opposite little z. So that's the pattern of this cosine rule that we'd be using with x, y and z. Now, we do have all these uh, values. Little x is 8. Little y is 10. It'll be minus twice 8 times 10 times. And the cosine of z, were conveniently given, is 1 8th. So, 8, 8, 64. 10 10s are 100. A bit of cancelling goes on here. 8... And 8, 8 into 8 goes 1. We're left with 2 times 10 and a whole lot of times 1s. So 2 times 10 is 20. We've got 164 minus 20, which is 144. Now that will give us z squared. So we must square root both sides of this equation to get z being positive. Square root of 144 lengths are always positive. And that we know is 12. 12 12 is 144. So 12 is the length. So let's just spell it out. Calculate the length of xy. xy is 12 centimetres. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out. Thanks for watching this video.